Ah, good morning and welcome along to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be um, showing how to mirror your uh, an Android screen. You can also mirror a PC, a iOS and also a Macintosh screen like this too. This is um, one of the ways I do it. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to be showing for the Android TV users. I'm going to be showing how to mirror to your Android TV um, or how I've done it and and for the next users will be for the PC users in case you want to mirror your display to your PC and in this case this this um, display in front of you which is my big 55 inch Sony TV it's it's a Android and also a Windows um, as well so at the moment we booted into Android I've explained about my PC underneath uh, my my laptop with the broken screen underneath which I ripped the screen off and uh, hooked it up via HDMI so it's pretty much just and also can, if the power cuts it won't the, kill the um, computer the computer will still be running on the battery that's still in it so that's another good reason why I've done it this way too is because of that the, of these power loss then and if I've got work I won't lose it and I've set it to automatically hibernate so without further ado let's get into the android so this is android today we're going to be using let the let's view android tv app but this also works um, on android tablets android phones as well i'm not too sure if they've got a receiver app for ios i know on the pc client of let's view you can mirror your screen to your phone but and also control it which i will be showing as well because as i said this is a Android and a PC and, and a Windows PC. So let's open the uh, AirView receiver app on the um, the big screen here. So this is running Android. Once I find the mouse, but we are actually stuck it. But here it is. So this is running Android um, 8.1 Oreo, 64-bit. Um, um, so yep. So we'll go to here. So this is the air receiver. So this will receive the incoming connections to what's going to be him. So if I just turn you here, um, I don't know if you can see that properly, but um, this is the TV um, code that I have to put in. Or if you've got um, Let's View installed on your PCs, this receiver will automatically pick it up. So um, we've got a few options here. We've got a video streamer, so if you have a um, DLNA capable um, push devices to push uh, DLNA content to this receiver, you can. So say if um, you've got a app called Servercast or Bubble UPnP, you might want to push a personal video from your phone or whatever to think that allows that. Um, these options here is for phone mirroring. You've also got um, PC, computer or Mac. You can scan a QR code for, so if you can have a QR code to connect, um, rather than having to search and all that, or let's see, and then you also got settings. Pretty much the only settings that um, are valid in those settings that allows you to change the resolution, but that's about it. It doesn't really let you change much else or the name. So let's go into the client side. So we've got my tablet here. So this is a 10 inch phone. Um, just get out of this remote app so uh, we're going to be going to, into the let's view client because I've also got the let's view receiver on here as well so if we look close um, hang on just let me hold my phone properly <clears throat> um, as you can see these the let's view um, and then it's also got the HP 250GS, that's the make and model of the, um, the PC that Android's running on. So it's detected the receiver. So pretty much um, what it'll do once I push the receiver, or once I push the device, I'll show you. So I push the device on my phone. Oh, the app's having a bit of a... The apps are having a bit of a plap, so let me just close and open the app. Do, 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 do. Open. Got it. 
it's detecting. So if we push, push, we are told, told you. And if we and see that the, the um, screen has changed, so it's it's um, asking it's asking um, to please tap start now. So he's a little message has popped up and it's just warning me that they want to um, that it wants to capture my screen and any personal data or sensitive data I do while it's running, it's going to capture it. So I'm going to go uh, OK. And as you can see, I am mirroring my phone to the TV so this is my this is my desktop on my um, Android on my phone if I rotate the screen it'll rotate um, the only thing that's mirroring at the moment is the screen uh, for, um, there's probably a way to do it but it doesn't mirror the audio um, you, the, there are other ways to mirror the screen and the audio um, I've covered that in the past, but the, in this case, this is just an app that's cross-platform with, with, with um, heaps of cool, you know, functionalities. But what we'll do is, this is displaying mirroring on, a, um, on an Android. So what we're going to do now is we're going to restart these, this computer that's on the big screen, and we're going to log into Windows launch the application and after we launch the application we're going to um, see the difference when you when you're running a PC client so the screen just went um, went to sleep but what we're gonna do is restart so let's view is going to automatically disconnect but we're just rebooting the laptop I do got a wireless keyboard and mouse for, for, for this but I'm just since I'm sitting right by the laptop I'm going to just use the um, mouse and keyboard from the thing so um, I've, when you first start up my computer or the computer on the big screen um, it gives you a choice to run Android or Windows so we just finished running Android so we're going to go right down to the bottom and we're going to run Windows so Windows will boot up this is what I mean about the dual boots um, Android and I'm going to think that comes a little bit blurry there we go it's a bit better All right so I just got to log in actually I will actually I will use this keyboard because I can't be bothered I, I might as well look at I can look at the screen and do my information so just log in with my password so we are logged in to this PC this is actually a normal desktop so um, a Windows desktop so what we're going to do is we're going to launch the um, we're going to launch the, the app from here the let's view app because you need a client you install on the PC side so let's view just wait for it to load and I'll be showing you you can mirror to the big display and also you can mirror back and and I will show you a cool feature about mirroring the PC screen back to your phone um, so first and foremost um, th that's all you have to do on the client side so we'll just minimize that we'll, we'll, we'll minimize that because you don't really need that information that's just the client as long as the clients running um, you'll be able to establish connection so we're going to go back to the let's view app on here we're going to detect as you can see, these are Let's View, and then it's got the same thing, but the netbook. But this time, when we click it, we get options. So the first option is obviously what I done on the Android side was mirror the screen. So we'll go, yep, just for this sake. We'll just show mirroring. Um, hang on. So there we go, that's just mirroring my screen. You can maximize it, but in this case, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, but these to maximize, are oh, these, you yeah, said the same as mirroring to an Android. As I said, you just put, you can go full screen. But in this case, um, we're going to show you mirroring back to the PC, or oh, from the PC to your phone. So let's disconnect, and then let's um, see this bottom. Um, I just got to hold my phone properly. 
mirror you can mirror the PC screen so that's going to mirror the big screen on the small screen but let's just show you so at the moment it's telling me to tap allow on the on the PC screen so that's what I'm going to do allow and if you look here Mm -mm -mm. there is a exact thing of my desktop so this is scaled this big screen down to a small screen but the cool thing about not just mirroring this also allows you to control the uh, mouse arm so you can actually see I've set this to touch because these two options you can have with the mouse mode is uh, you can have it as mouse or touch uh, if you've got a touch screen or, or if you're running Android with Let's View, it's best to use the touch feature because when you touch around, you can actually um, move the cursor. You can do left click and right click, so I'll open Recycle Bin. So let me try and open Recycle Bin. And as you see, I've got Recycle Bin open on the big screen and also got Recycle Bin on open on the little screen. I can tap this PC just with my hand. With my finger oops um, and the cool thing about uh, Windows when you do this with Windows in the Mac it actually mirrors the um, it actually mirrors the audio too see that I'm under this PC but I, I done this all with my I done this all with my um, nothing else but my um, hang on I'm just trying to get the glare out of it so you can see it a bit Nothing but my hands. So what I'll do is I'll come around this side. See if see if I drag my finger I can highlight. I can highlight highlight. Um I can double click. Double click into one. Oh I accidentally pushed things, so I'll push OK. So yeah, it's pretty much you can control the P your PC with nothing but your phone which is cool because um, I, I'm, I, I'm not only I'm actually using my phone as a remote for the PC and the other cool thing about it too is if you're um, if, you, if someone's watching a movie and maybe you might want to carry the movie to the toilet with you you know if someone's watching a movie on the big screen on the PC you might want to you know oh I don't want to miss a movie or oh, people are watching it or oh, I just mirror my phone I just mirror my PC to my phone and I go to it and watch it. No, but uh, that's just one example. You know, there's many examples, but the controlling feature is where you can control the PC from your phone is is a that's awesome. Um, I haven't played around with all the rest of the features, but this is just one way you can mirror to your PC, uh, to your computer, or to an Android device and from a Windows PC. I'm not too sure if you can do that with Mac because I haven't played around with the Macintosh version. You probably can, and you probably can control it. Um, but yeah, in this case, we are just doing it with a Windows 8.1 PC. Um, to get it going on 8.12, before I do go, is you need to download an older version of that, which is the Let's View 1.0.3. I I I tried a later version and it kept on crashing or it kept on not wanting to start on Windows 8.1. So if you're running an 8.1 or earlier machine, always get the 1.0.3 version of the software so it'll run successfully for you. But that's me again with another tutorial just demonstrating how to mirror your Android to, the, to your Android TV but also mirror your Android and this, I don't know if, as I said, I don't know if it works for iPhone. It probably does, but mirror it to your PC and also mirror your um, your PC screen to your um, device and also control it. So until next time, you've been listening to ET, and until next time, you have a good day. And yeah, just like usual, when we like to end with a bit of chur chur.